Hi, it's Luke, and today you join me at the Horsham Film Festival, where I've actually been selected as a finalist for one of my documentaries. I hope I'm going to win this, and I'm really honoured to be given these opportunities as a younger filmmaker. Now, let's go inside. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, um, go both on one side there. Nice to see you both again. How have you been in the last year since uh, last year's festival? Not bad, not bad. Uh, getting on with life, I guess. And what have you been doing? Have you been making more films, or what have you? What have you guys been up to? Uh, I'll go in the middle, actually. Then I can go either way. Um, so I've been doing a lot of filmmaking for a variety of different clients. Um, I had I worked for uh, another artist. And and the footage that you went on BBC Country Car. Ooh, amazing! Which was pretty cool, and that's obviously given me more exposure. But now I'm using a different way to get like my footage to stand out. As I've been using something called a one wheel, which is like a balancing skateboard. So then, instead of like your box down and just your locked off tripod shot, I'm now like experimenting with like dynamic camera movements that really is making my work stand out from other people's. Amazing, and it is, it's hard these days. It's such a saturated industry. I mean, from every side, from the filmmaking, from a performance point of view, it's very difficult to, to get stand out and, and get recognized. And for, for those maybe who don't know, tell us a bit about your film last year. Uh, my film last year was a, it was a drama. It was about a boy who had a best friend who died and it was exploring the effect on his family members and everyone around him when he was mourning for death. And I mean, how did you feel, I'm sort of going um, between, uh, do you want to tell us a bit about your film as well, just for anyone who may not have seen it? Um, so my film was basically showing the best places to visit in our wonderful area and it was dynamic drone movements just like showing everywhere from a different perspective that if you were just walking along you wouldn't actually be able to see. Sure, okay, they were, they were both fantastic. Um, so, I mean, how important, I asked Nicola a similar question, how important do you think these kind of events are? I mean, you, you've been here where, where all of our shortlisted um, entries are, and you sat there and you felt nervous. How did it feel when you when you won? Did you feel proud and proud that it's in your area? Yeah, yeah, I was really proud. I think it's also like, it's good because a lot of the people that submit their films here are like new filmmakers. So it's good to like meet new people who you can like maybe work with in the future and build your work on. So. And do you, are you pleased to see the event back for the second year? Did you expect it to be back based on last year? I mean, you obviously sat there and watched all the shortlists from all the categories and all the winners. And it was fabulous, wasn't it? It was a fantastic evening. Yeah, well, I knew it was going to be good because last year we saw a variety of different filmmakers and there's, it's such a growing thing now with like online, it really goes to show that it doesn't matter how much experience you've got, there's always events like this which can really showcase your work and you can get more exposure and meet more people. Absolutely, well said. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do make sure you like, subscribe and let me know in the comments below if you'll be entering this film festival next year because as a younger filmmaker, it gives you great exposure so you can market your business so more people can find out about you and want to collaborate with you. And I've also been given this book, which will be great so I can learn of it and find out how to become a better filmmaker and get better footage. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, please make sure you like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.